lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. The stadium has that feel of a genuine coliseum. It could only be Rome. down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Jim C making the difference here. Well, I go for Burak Yilmaz because he takes plenty of boxes. He's aerially strong, he's good on the ball, links up well with the runners around him, and he has a certain amount of dead ball expertise too. There aren't many boxes left here. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And that gets things running. Yaziji. Jorginho. Marco Verratti. That's gone a long way up and away. And here's Insignia. Turkey get it back again. Forward it goes. Calderim. Under. Jorginho did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Now it's Immobile. Chiesa. Florenzi is charging up on the overlap. Tries to get it clear. Florenzi. All the way back, and they start again. Bonucci. Jorginho. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Immobile! I have. Side yet able to force a breakthrough here. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Florenti gets into the right position to intercept. Berati drives it forward. Oh, great! It's Immobile! Oh, real 
danger here. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Florenzi battles to win it back. Chiesa. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Chiesa has got himself a free kick. So, who's he going to be aiming for here? It's another dead ball chart. Header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Florenti plays it forward. And it's Yilmaz. Now the counter. Well weighted. He ha has a hit! Lorenzo Insigne. Come back to the keeper. Ihan. So who can spark this game into life? Bonucci gets it back. Let us put a stop to that. Spinazzola. And here's Insigne. Jorginho. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Tries to get it forward quickly. Yilmaz tore at them and just came up short. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. <laughs> An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil nil. There's the start of the second half. Italy playing well with lots of opportunity. Big chance! There it is! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player! Immobile with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Well, he always had the measure of the keeper there. Such confidence and composure. Italy take the lead. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Ihan. Ihan gets it out to the wing. Chiellini. Bonucci. Jorginho. Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. And here's Insigne. He can get that clear. In comes the corner. Soyuncu knocks it away. Bonucci. Jorginho. And it's Ferrati. And he's there to cut it out.
Finds himself eased off the ball. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back. He's had a shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. And here's Immobile. Insigne. That's a case of crossing in hope and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, that's a waste. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Jorginho. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. Florenzi. Has a pop! Fence has got rid of that. Chance! Really well taken goal. And this is getting better and better. Terrible error, duly punished. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Italy take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Under. Good ball, it's found, it's to Burak Yilmaz! He scores! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out, it really was a bullet. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Turkey are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Oh, that's a... Has a go! Turkey are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And it's Immobile. Chiesa. Lovely bit of skill. Florenzi with the cross. Cut out in the nick of time. Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. He's looked long this time. Italy are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Play for a throw.
Lorenzo Insigne. Out for a throw. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Ihan spreads it towards the left. Under. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Turkey need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Yokushlu. Hoists it forward. Under plays it out to the flank. And it's been taken straight back. Neither side really getting hold of the ball. Referee has just said play on. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Italy come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?